Outreach in the Missions in uh, downtown Seattle. Bread of Life, um, the Panayo Mission, and Union Gospel. In those days, that was in the 90s, in those days you could volunteer to speak in a chapel uh, without being sponsored by a regular pastor or a church. And that's how I got in there. I was on the tail end of a, I helped a, there was a church group that would go there sometimes and uh, they would sing, but nobody could uh, give a testimony or preach. So I became kind of a substitute. I would get calls, I'd be on call to go to one of the three missions, uh, particularly the Bread of Life mission, which was on, uh, which is still there. It's on First and Pike, and uh, they call me when I was at work and say, hey, you know, we need you. We need someone to speak tonight. Would you come? And so there were some times when it was like three times a week at the one mission. And that's where I learned uh, that if I prepared notes, uh, the Holy Spirit had me uh, just converse, preach without the notes. And uh, so I never did really prepare sermons. Sometimes I get ideas of what I might talk about, but it always changed when I got up front. And um, that's that was my training. And then until they, they required that I have a pastor and be endorsed by a pastor and be a member of a church, unless I did that, I could no longer go there and preach. And that's what happened. I went to a church of like faith, uh, and I went to the pastor and explained to him what I was doing, that I'd been going to the missions for years, years being three or four years, and that that was the situation I needed to have an endorsement from a pastor, and his response was, I don't know who you are, I don't even know you, and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, it didn't work out too good, but it is a, it's a, a dilemma that many lay people like myself, I guess you would call us, uh, that are not professionals, uh, that have not the degree of a seminary behind us. It's very hard to get into places to preach like that. The chapel service, the services, they were full, you know, because it was required. If you're hungry, you had to go to chapel first. And so that's the kind of people you had to deal with, you know, they all right, okay, I've heard this. And a lot of them knew they knew particularly passages, Romans 7 and 8, because they'd been preached to so often. Anyway, I thought I would share that just as a inside uh, thing. And if God is calling you to preach, I would recommend that you do a channel like I'm doing. Uh, open up your channel, stir up your gift, uh, whatever it is, teaching or it's music or something, and start doing, open up your channels. I get a lot of comments from people that have channels with no content. So I would encourage you, you've got the channel, go ahead and upload a testimony. It starts out like mine. I just started reading some scripture. I was very uh, uh, unsure of myself at first when I did the YouTube stuff. But it just, uh, it's come to the point where it's my only outlet.